It's a sobering truth, but some people around us find joy in sowing harm and chaos. Picture this, you're sharing intimate moments and placing your trust in someone only to unearth that they are the very root of your distress. Today, we embark on a profound journey to identify the telltale signs of an evil person. Be it a colleague, a friend, or even a family member, these individuals are often masters of deception, skillfully masking their true selves behind a facade of charm and charisma. We're delving into this dark side of human behavior for more than just curiosity. Recognizing these signs can profoundly transform your life. The Stoics championed the power of perception and the significance of living a life steered by reason and virtue. By identifying and comprehending these toxic traits, we can safeguard our peace of mind and nurture healthier relationships, all while adhering to the Stoic principles of wisdom and self-control. Stick around as we reveal the five unmistakable signs of an evil person. By the end of this video, you'll be equipped to recognize these behaviors and armed with practical strategies to protect your mental health and well-being. If you value our content, please hit the subscribe button and watch the video in its entirety. You won't want to miss our special bonus section, where I'll share a powerful strategy for setting firm boundaries with these individuals. Let's embark on this journey of self-awareness and resilience together. Sign number one, deceptive charm. When we talk about those who initially appear charming and charismatic, it's crucial to remember that appearances can be deceiving. These individuals often light up a room, making everyone around them feel special and valued. They possess an uncanny ability to say exactly what you want to hear, making you feel as if you've just found a new best friend. At first glance, they seem like the ideal person, witty, engaging, and genuinely interested in your life. However, the Stoics urge us to peer beneath the surface and uncover the truth through rational thought and keen observation. As time passes, you may start to discern cracks in their facade. Perhaps they consistently crave the spotlight, eclipsing others in social settings. They might talk over you, interrupt, or subtly belittle you in front of others. These behaviors aren't mere quirks. They're glaring red flags. The Stoics counsel us to scrutinize these actions with clarity and objectivity, undimmed by the initial allure of their charisma. Sign number two, lack of empathy. Empathy is the vital ability to comprehend and share the emotions of others, forging deep connections, offering support, and nurturing meaningful relationships. Sadly, some individuals are entirely devoid of this essential human trait. They remain indifferent to the impact of their actions or words on others, causing profound harm to those in their midst. The Stoics, champions of compassion and understanding, viewed these qualities as core virtues. Marcus Aurelius, in particular, emphasized humanity's interconnectedness, urging us to regard the well-being of others as integral to our own. Imagine bearing your soul to a friend, hoping for comfort or understanding, only to receive indifference or mockery in return. Such lack of empathy leaves you feeling isolated and misunderstood, craving the support you deserve. Establishing clear boundaries becomes essential to safeguard your mental and emotional well-being. The Stoics emphasized the importance of nurturing our own peace and resilience, refusing to let the negativity of others disrupt our inner harmony. Sign number three, manipulation. Manipulation is like a shadowy dance of deceit and cunning, where the manipulator pulls strings to orchestrate outcomes in their favor. It's a covert and insidious behavior that leaves those targeted feeling shaken and uncertain. They distort realities and bend perceptions to mold situations to their advantage, leaving you questioning your own judgment and feeling powerless in their grasp. It's a potent tool wielded with precision, aimed at controlling others' thoughts and actions to satisfy their own desires. 
The Stoics prized lucidity of mind and the skill to perceive reality without distortion. They emphasized grounding our perceptions in truth and staying resolute in our ethical principles. When someone manipulates you, they seek to obscure your clarity and warp reality, undermining your ability to uphold these Stoic values. Detecting manipulation can be arduous, especially when there's an emotional connection involved. Stoic wisdom urges us to be vigilant and discerning, to maintain clear-sightedness, and to act with steadfast integrity, despite the challenges posed by manipulative tactics. Sign number four, controlling behavior. Controlling behavior is like a suffocating presence that aims to seize control over every facet of your existence, leaving scant space for your autonomy and choices. Those who wield control often cloak their actions in the guise of concern or care, but at its core, it's about exerting power and dominance. For the Stoics, champions of personal freedom and self-mastery, such conduct runs counter to the pursuit of virtue and a life guided by moral excellence. Controlling behavior takes on various insidious forms. In relationships, it might rear its head through incessant monitoring of your movements, demanding constant updates on your whereabouts and dictating whom you can socialize with. They might pry into your personal communications, scrutinize your messages or insist on accessing all your passwords. This invasive surveillance and micromanagement can create a suffocating sense of confinement and anxiety. The Stoics stressed the importance of safeguarding your inner freedom and autonomy, resiliently maintaining them despite external pressures. Sign number five, pathological lying. Pathological lying isn't just about telling the occasional fib. It's a constant deception without any clear motive. These individuals weave intricate tales, twist facts, and reshape reality to serve their own agenda or gain an upper hand. This habitual behavior can wreak havoc on relationships, corroding trust, and entangling everyone in a web of falsehoods that's incredibly hard to unravel. The Stoics cherish truth and integrity as the bedrock of virtuous living. They saw honesty as essential, believing that deceit undermines one's very essence. Marcus Aurelius urged alignment with nature, advocating for actions grounded in truth and reason. Pathological liars, in stark contrast, fabricate a world that serves only their self-interest, diametrically opposing these foundational stoic values. Now let me tell you how to safeguard yourself from toxic individuals, the art of setting boundaries. Shielding yourself from harmful behaviors without compromising your peace and integrity requires one crucial skill, setting boundaries. Boundaries act as your fortress, delineating what is and isn't acceptable in your relationships, safeguarding your mental, emotional, and physical well-being. Echoing the stoic emphasis on personal integrity and inner peace, Mastering the art of boundary setting becomes pivotal in nurturing a life of virtue and tranquility. Setting boundaries isn't about wielding harshness. It's a profound act of self-respect and a call for mutual respect from others. Specify clearly which behaviors cross your lines and communicate this assertively. Consistency stands as your stalwart ally. Uphold your boundaries steadfastly, even in discomfort or challenge. Drawing from Stoic wisdom, which champions discipline and resilience, maintaining boundaries reflects self-honor and educates others on the treatment you deserve. In navigating toxic environments, seek solace in community support, prioritize self-care rituals, and recognize that boundary setting is an act of profound self-respect and self-nurturance. Grounded in our core values and committed to safeguarding our autonomy, we shield ourselves from the corrosive impacts of toxic behaviors, paving the way for authenticity and profound fulfillment in our daily lives. Thank you for being here today and being part of Clusters of Wisdom. If you found this helpful, don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment below to share your thoughts, 
and spread the wisdom by sharing this video with others who might benefit. Remember, strength and wisdom grow with shared knowledge. Stay empowered, stay curious, and keep living your truth. Until next time, take care and keep seeking wisdom in every moment.